Hi guys, welcome back. I'm not one for long intros, so let's just start. I was doing ballpoint pen drawings the last week, and there was just a couple of progress images, because this was the first one I did. Was it the first one? Yeah. Hmm. No, it wasn't the first ballpoint pen drawing I did, but I didn't record the first two, so I just thought I'd show a little bit of how that came to be. But I then I decided, okay, could make a video out of this, so I started recording, just sort of on my phone. I had like my phone in a candle holder, like a little glass on the table because I just started doing it spontaneously. These ballpoint pen drawings came about originally just because I was sitting in my bed at the end of the day drawing and obviously I can't really record when it's dark in my room and I'm just drawing to wind down. But I like how that can give you inspiration to do something because you're just using what's ever in your pencil case and those ballpoint pens on my pencil case. Oh, this one was a three colour challenge pick three random ballpoint pens. I'm glad I've got so many different coloured ballpoint pens that really help to make it interesting. And then I was trying to draw a pregnant lady because I haven't done that in ages, like since two years ago October challenge. And my style and way of drawing has changed drastically since then. Tell me, have you ever drawn with just ballpoint pen? If not, I challenge you to. It's a really good exercise to get loosened up. Though, I like previously had been doing some very loose sketching with just one ballpoint pen, one colour of references, but then when I started doing these girls, I was using the lightest yellow colour to sketch and then layering on top and on top and getting tighter and tighter with more cross hatching. That's something really cool about this. I learned the value of cross hatching and how cool it can look because in school they like, okay, these are all the different ways to shade with a pencil. But I never really, I never really got cross hatching because with a pencil you can just make it lighter or darker depending on how heavily you go on the page. But with ballpoint pen, like literally cross hatching is one of the only ways to get different types of value. I think that would be pretty cool if in art class they got you to use ballpoint pens for some of those learning how to shade classes. It would push you to really just try to use the the way you use line. So the last few of these pictures, the last four are animals. And because these are on the tops of, on cards, they're not just, you know, no pressure things I'm doing on my sketchbook. They're cards that I'm making for people on like writing, drawing straight onto the actual card. It was actually really nice paper for doing this on. I did a nice light orange pencil sketch underneath instead of starting straight out with the light yellow ballpoint pen in case I needed to erase something and rework it. And on the dog one, I also used a tiny bit of watercolour. On the rest of them, it was literally just the orange pen and... Orange pen? <laughs> orange pen. The orange ballpoint... I can't talk. The orange pencil and then all the ballpoint pen. One of this penguin's feet looked like a bunch of carrots. I found that funny. On some of that belly area, I was really able to... Not dig in, but... The way that the ballpoint pen flowed over the texture of the paper, it gave it a feathery look. I'll have to do a zoom in for that, because that was cool. Because these weren't indulgent pieces of artwork, I don't know, that's a weird thing to say, but because I was specifically thinking what would someone else like on a card, one of these pictures actually sold because I was thinking more about what someone else would want from a piece of artwork rather than just something very so personal. So here's what I finished in this video. This picture and this one, with the ballpoint pens. These guys, I never actually filled in that brush. <laughs> oh well, it's ages after I did these now. Here's a better look at this one once I finished it. Because I feel like the issue with uh, I had with this one was that it looks like a filtered picture. It doesn't look like the things are different colours. It just looks like I've used the different colours for shading, like the purples are darkest and so on, whereas this actually looks like the things are different colours. Um, like it's not just filtered. I don't know if you quite get what I mean, but like it looks like she's got grey socks and black or dark purple t um, leggings on. It looks like her boots were specifically meant to be that colour. Yeah, she was quick enough. I would, it was cool, I did it, this was a three colour challenge, because I never would have chosen those colours myself. I really liked how her hand turned out actually. <laughs> I haven't done any drawing since then. Wow. Yeah, so what else did I do here? Oh yeah, these 
artworks. They're all on Redbubble now. Actually, someone bought the Cocker Spaniel one. Bought four greeting cards of it. But, I mean, you know how Redbubble is. I only made like 50 cents out of it. But still. That was pretty cool. The more sales I get, the more I'll probably get like promoted in Redbubble. I think that's how it works. And you know, it accumulates. So there you go. Also some really exciting news about getting accepted into a gallery exhibition thing. But I'll have more information on that and how you can see it on my Instagram because it's gonna be online because of restrictions and stuff. So <laughs> hope you enjoyed, goodbye.